Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 9. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. If you have your Bible, please take it out. I don't want you to think that I am trying to lead anyone astray. I don't want anyone to think that I am trying to fool you. Because I don't have anything to gain by trying to lead you astray. So take out your Bible. Look, I am trying to get to heaven. I don't want to go to hell. I don't like too much heat and I don't like being in pain. So hell is not going to be a pleasant place for me. So in other words, I am not about that life. <laughs> As people say. <laughs> okay. So are you there? Okay. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. So what is that saying? There are people who get angry so quickly. You say one thing to them. Let's say that, and this is a very common thing that I have been seeing. Let's say that you are not trying to say anything wrong to a person. You just say something very light. Let's say that you all are speaking about blue ducks or something like that. And you say, hey, I don't really like blue ducks. And the person that you are speaking to is like, what do you mean? <laughs> people who look for things to be offended by what this is saying people like that anger lies with people people who love to get angry what the bible is saying they are a fool I know that some people have been hurt. Yes, your mother, your father, your uncle, your cousin, nephew, niece, somebody has hurt you. <laughs> Someone has hurt you. So they use that excuse to be super sensitive toward everyone they are not willing to listen to counsel. They are willing to say what they want to say. And if you say anything that is against what they say, they are ready to explode. People like that, according to the Bible, people who look for things to get angry, the Bible is calling those people fools. Everyone in this world have been hurt. Does that give us all an excuse to blow off the handle, to get really angry at every chance, at everyone that goes against what we think, what we say, and how we feel, and the way that we act? Is that any excuse to blow off at the handle? No. The Bible is calling you a fool. So what you need to do is forgive your enemies. Forgive them. If you don't know how to forgive them, ask God to help you forgive them. Does that make any sense? There is no excuse. I know for myself, I used to hate my parents. Actually, 
I used to hate my whole family. <laughs> I used to hate, well, my family and some other people as well. And I wanted to be alone, really, because I really did not want to be around anyone, really. I just wanted to do my own thing. Yes, you know, I used to date and all that stuff there, but other than that, I really wanted to be alone. I would not say that I would get angry easily. I just did not want to be messed with. On the other hand, so the way that I was, that was wrong. I guess you can say I did get angry pretty quickly. According to the Bible, the way that I was, I was a fool. Because anger lies with people that are fools. You may not like what I am saying, but I am showing you what the Bible is saying. So what am I trying to say? What is your point, Kevin? Okay. I am going to get to my point. Just give me time. My point is, you need to move on. If you can't accept criticism, how can you expect to improve? How can you expect to change? Hey, the Bible says, you can't have sex before marriage. You have to get married, blah, blah, blah. And when I say this to you, you get super mad and start cussing and screaming and stuff like that. Makes no sense. And people like that wonder why bad things continue to happen to you. It makes no sense. Kevin, this is happening to me. That is happening to me. I don't know why this is happening to me. I'm like, are you serving God? No. <laughs> Even if I don't serve God, Kevin, this should not be happening to me. God is a loving God. God is not going to allow things like this to happen to me. <laughs> My God. Stop getting offended so easily. Stop getting an attitude so easily. How are you going to expect to bring people to God when you get offended so easily? A person says something against what you say or what you think and you get so mad about it or an attitude toward it to the point where you are talking in a sassy way or a rude way to that person. My Lord. Yes, I am asking God for the gift of healing, the gift of faith, the gift of prophecy, all these gifts, but when a person disagrees with me, I get so mad. Man, oh my Lord. If you can't do the basics, why would God bless you with more? You can't do the basics. You can't do the basics, but you are asking God for so much more when you can't even do the small things. How about you build your foundation first, then ask for the higher things? Why do you want to be a teacher, but when someone is acting a fool or talking crazy to you, you get to the point where you sin to handle that situation there. I pray that this makes sense. Take care of the basics. Then ask God for the higher things. My Lord, 
I pray that this makes sense. Stop getting offended so easily. It is okay if a person disagrees with you. Myself, I don't mind if a person disagrees with me. You can disagree with me all day long, but as long as you are doing it in a respectful manner, hey, you can say I'm wrong or whatever else. Hey, whatever, whatever. You know, hey, Kevin, I am not trying to be rude or anything, but, you know, I believe blah, 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 blah. Disagree, disagree with me. That is fine. But don't get to the point where when someone disagrees with you, you get hot tempered. You have no excuse for that. No excuse. You are willing to correct people, but when correcting when it is time to correct you, you are not willing to accept it. That is pride as well. That is pride. So, <clears throat> now we know, well, I won't say we know what a fool is. We have one example of what a fool is. A person who gets angry so quickly. So if you meet one of those people, show them Ecclesiastes <laughs> chapter 7, verse 9. Because <clears throat> no one should get angry so quickly. Let me say this. Now, I get angry. Now, it is not a sin to get angry. But if you are angry all the time, that is wrong. For myself, I remember this one thing when something happened and I was angry for that day and I cooled off and I was still having thoughts about what happened and I was a bit irritated but I let it go some people they are still angry about things that happened years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. Someone took my husband, someone took my wife, someone stole from me, someone backstabbed me. You are angry about things that happened years ago. That is wrong, that is evil. How can you expect to get into heaven when you are holding on to things long ago? Let it go. How has it helped you by holding on to those things? You are jeopardizing. <clears throat> I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless.